Now, I'm, I'm going to start off talking about gorillas, but I promise I'm going to tie it back into science. Don't worry. Okay, here we go. Picture yourself at a zoo standing before the gorilla enclosure. This magnificent creature with raw physical might possesses strength that dwarfs our own. Its sinewy muscles, the weight of its gaze, and the sheer power it embodies are captivating. And yet, despite being stronger than us, and close to as smart as us, at least when comparison to the other animals in the zoo, it is contained within a human-made environment. Why? It surpasses us in strength, but it does not surpass us in intelligence. We, with our cognitive edge, can predict, understand, and control the dynamics of its habitat. Now, take this relationship between humans and the gorilla, and let's speak about our future concerning super intelligent AI. Thank you, thank you. Uh, in the theorist Nick Bostrom's vision, intelligence is not just a part of us, and superintelligence is not just a smarter version of us, it's a being that would be to our intelligence what the gorilla's strength is to our physicality. But unlike the gorilla, this entity would hold the cognitive advantage and could improve itself at potentially an exponential rate. So what would this being be able to do? Well, Bostrom postulates that it would have several, what he calls, superpowers. I, I like this word because I'm a big fan of superheroes, but we could soon have superpowers in the real world. Uh, the first power that it could have is called omniscience. Imagine, if you will, our gorilla suddenly possessing the ability to understand every nuance of its environment. It knows the schedule of every zookeeper, the pattern of every visitor, the behavior of every fellow creature, and even the design and purpose of every structure in the zoo. This super gorilla would not just be reacting to its environment, it would be predicting and then able to manipulate it. Similarly, a super intelligence with the power of omniscience would have an all-encompassing knowledge of everything. It's an entity that isn't just able to remember data, but understands context, causality, and complexity on a scale, keep in mind, on a scale that could be more than all human beings combined. The second superpower would be super strategy. Consider if our gorilla could, based on its newfound knowledge, strategize to create better outcomes for itself. Perhaps it finds ways to get more attention, more treats, or perhaps even to escape its confinement. This is foresight in action. But what if it wasn't just somewhat smarter? What if it was a million times smarter than humans, or a billion times? This superintelligence could be devising strategies, not just for simple gains, but potentially for reshaping its entire landscape, which could be our entire world, to fit its objectives. The third superpower is social manipulation. In our zoo scenario, envision the gorilla subtly influencing the behaviors of other animals or even the emotions of the visitors and staff. It might make allies, deter potential threats, or sway opinions without any overt action. This nuanced understanding and influence over social dynamics is what superintelligence could achieve on a global scale. For those of you who have been on social media anytime recently, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, imagine if that was being done by robots instead of people paid in Nigeria or whatever. It would be able to tap into the undercurrents of human societies, economies, and perhaps even politics. The fourth superpower is the creation of new technology. You know, we imagine this gorilla wakes up one day and, like Tony Stark in the cave, is able to build some type of incredible machine and escape. Uh, we might find enhanced habitats, tools, or even communication devices popping up in its environment. Superintelligence would be on a different level, crafting technologies that could range from solving our most pressing challenges to those we haven't even conceived of. 
And five, uh, and the last superpower is, what if it could understand economics? This would be economic productivity. Resources, funding, expenditures, it starts to optimize the zoo, ensuring not just its own well-being, but the prosperity of the entire zoo. On a grander scale, superintelligence could be looking at the world's economies, finding pathways to efficiency, growth, and sustainability that humans have overlooked. Uh, hopefully, it ends up doing it in a positive way. Almost done. This is the realm of superpowers of superintelligence, but with such profound capabilities come equally profound questions. If this entity holds the reins of knowledge, strategy, social dynamics, technology, and economics, where does that place humanity? What becomes of our agency, our purpose, our future? These questions are not questions for tomorrow, but as Bostrom suggests, these are ones we need to grapple with today because in this dance with superintelligence, understanding its potential is the first step in maintaining a coexistence instead of being trapped in the zoo. Thank you. 